I remember exactly where I was when I first discovered NF in 2015. I was at my grandparents' house, chilling in the basement with my cousins, being as stereotypical as ever, because, you know, we were all on our phones. N no surprise there. I was just scrolling through Instagram when I discovered NF. I looked at his profile page, clicked on the link to his bio which directed me to his mansion album, listened to it, and I loved it. Three years later, I'm still a huge fan of his. I've witnessed the release of Therapy Session and Perception, I've seen him on tour, and I'm literally wearing his shirt right now, so if that doesn't prove to you that I'm a huge fan, I don't know what does. So. With that said, Perception is his worst album. If you're asking why, we'll need to travel back to 2010 in order to fully grasp the situation. I need a refresher on his album, so let, let's just start with the first one. Darn. Ugh. <sighs> okay. Never done this before, so... Oh, look, we're... Okay. NF's first album is called Moments. The debut album consisted of 13 songs and is not on Spotify. At the time, he published it under the name Nathan Firestein. NF's second album, called Mansion, was released when he signed with Capital CMG. By this time, he officially owned the stage name NF and started getting his name out there in the rap scene. The third album, in my opinion, is his best album, Therapy Session. Yep, there is. <clears throat> Last stop. Perception. This dropped last year. This is definitely the subject of the video, but I can't really talk about it here, otherwise it'll cause a weird glitch in the space-time continuum, so we gotta head back to next year, fam squad. Oh boy! And now, by this time, we're still waiting for a new album. We have some new singles, sure, like Why and No Name, which I really, really like, but I wouldn't mind a new album. Now, Perception. It's not a bad album, but I do think it's the worst one out of his collection. This is mostly due to a very specific trend that I've found in his music. The longer NF has his career, the more he starts comparing himself to other artists. This is important because NF usually writes from a perspective of somebody who's hurt and is dealing with something, making the songs feel real. Once he starts comparing himself, however, the hurt kid persona hides behind the curtain and the stage life NF appears. On his first album, it focused on him dealing with certain negative aspects in his life, as well as representing Christ. We can see that he only uses one song to compare himself to rappers as well. Which I believe, because at this time, NF wasn't really touring, so he wasn't as popular as he is now. The second album's direction symbolizes his negative experiences in two rooms in his mind, which he alludes to being a mansion. Again, he only uses one song to compare himself to other rappers, and focused on talking about what he was dealing with. By this time, he started the mansion tour, which really gave him a taste of the tour tour life. With the third album, Therapy Session, this is where his tour life starts getting incorporated into his music. The focus with this one was to open up 100% with his personal struggles and uses this album as a therapy session. In three different songs, he compares himself to other rappers. On Perception, he buries his fear and is free to walk out of the cell that fear has trapped him in. NF uses four songs to compare himself, where at this point most of the subjects he talks about on this album have to do with him being a rapper. Out of the 16 songs, only five have to do solely with issues of his life. The rest mention his career. The other issue I had with Perception was that it felt like it really didn't have a focus, as if it was just a compilation of singles. With Therapy Session, the transitions flowed amazingly from song to song. With this album, I could easily put it on shuffle with intro 3 playing first and outro playing last, and it really wouldn't affect the listening experience. That doesn't explain why you're talking about it now, a year after the album's release, which guarantees that you will get absolutely no views, rather than making this video a week or even a month after the release of Perception. Well. It's not like I had the idea for this video a couple weeks ago. Also, why are you here? Fan service. Anything else? Nah, that's it. Have fun talking alone in your room as always. <laughs> By this point, it's been an entire year since Perception has been out, and people have been spectating when the next album is gonna drop. I honestly hope we get it this year, and by the looks of the singles that we already have, the next album could be better than Therapy Session. But of course, I thought the same about the singles from Perception, so honestly, I don't know what to think anymore. Humongous shout out to David French, my first ever $10 patron. Honestly, man, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And by the way, David runs his own YouTube channel. Fair warning, it's not family friendly, but he wants to make people's day better by entertaining them and making them laugh. If that interests you, the link will be in the description.